I'm very sorry I can't be with you all today at such an important gathering. Some have speculated that I've seen more of the natural world than anyone else. Well, it's certainly true that I have been extremely fortunate to spend my life traveling the world to film and share the wonders of nature. I've witnessed the natural world at its most fascinating and vibrant. But I've also witnessed startling changes, changes that are today threatening our very civilizations. It's worth reflecting that our civilizations arose in large part because of the last 12,000 year period of climatic stability known as the Holocene, which allowed humans to settle and farm. This stability ultimately gave rise to international trade in ideas as well as goods, making us the globally connected species we are today and in need of the international governance that you and your institutions provide. However, we've taken that stability for granted. Our economies and political systems are unconsciously predicated on the belief that nature will continue to be a benign and regular provider of the conditions we need to thrive. Regular seasons, dependable fresh water, endless fish, pollinators, minerals, soil. It's now apparent that the Holocene has ended and our stable, reliable planet no longer exists. The impacts of this destabilization will profoundly impact every country on Earth. When you think about it, there is perhaps no more unsettling thought. The only conditions modern humans have ever known are changing and changing fast. You are all in positions where you can make more of a difference than most. If ever we needed a strong signal from world leaders, from people like you, that we are going to solve this, it is now. In 2020, we have a key moment in history. Some have called it a super year, a coming together of major global decisions on climate, nature, oceans and development. It could not be more important and far-reaching. What we do in the next few years will determine the next few thousand years. Thank you for your leadership so far, and I wish you every success in inspiring other world leaders to join you in this vital task.